sector leaving few survivors. Each world attacked reported hybrid leaving them. Then truly, no world is beyond Amon's reach. Reinforce those bulkheads. Reposition to Mark 7 Alpha. We need to form a battle line. They've overrun Sky Shield, our orbital defense platform. Looks like they've destroyed its atmospheric stabilizers. It's fallen fast. If it crashes, it'll obliterate August Grand. We will ensure that does not happen, Commander. Engage their fleet and keep their assault at bay. Like old times, buddy. Like old times. Hierarch, before our armies engage the enemy, it would be wise to review our military capabilities within the War Council. It seems fate has drawn us together once again, James Raynor. I call it luck. Luck is a concept that is purely human in origin. We Protoss see the synchronicity of events and know there is a grander design behind them. Well, it don't matter how you see it. The result's the same. So what brought you all the way out here, Artanis? Zeratul believed that the artifact in your possession, the Keystone, he called it, could guide us to the Zelnaga. Where's Zeratul now? The Dark Prelate fell on Ire. 
His last hope was that I would continue his quest and find a way to stop Amon. Damn it. Always knew there was only one way this quest of his was going to end. His loss is great. I know you called him friend. I went through hell to get that artifact because of his damned fool prophecies. Lost a lot of good men. If he wanted you to have it, take it. It's yours. Right now, though, we got a city to save. Karax, even without the Kala's light, I can sense your sadness. Your pain. Does the Spear of a Dune bring you no joy? That is just it, Hierarch. Without the Kala, it is as if I am blind. I cannot sense your feelings, know the true depth of your thoughts. I cannot call upon the surety of other face smiths. I am alone. I feel the isolation as well, as though thrashing within the vacuum of space. But you are not alone, brother. To think the Dark Templar have endured this existence all this time. The days ahead will not be easy. We may not have the Kala to rely on, Karax, but we still stand as one. We will endure. There is no other option. A preserver? Released from stasis? She still bears her nerve cords. She is tethered to the collar. Hold. I am Rohana, Grand Preserver of the Valari, and your War Council Advisor. You must be the Executor in command. You are not possessed by the Dark One. How is this possible? I feel darkness lingering at the edges of my every thought, but I am not corrupted. Preservers of my station have trained to control the Kala's every rebel. I assure you, I will stave off this evil and serve you better by doing so. As all Preservers, I hold the memories and personalities of Protoss prior to my submission to Stasis. This will allow me to contrast your tactical decisions with those of past Executors. From this chamber, you will be able to make all military allocations. I am Artanis, Hierarch of the Daylon. I lead all that is left of our civilization. Your memories are indeed of use, Rohana. But make no mistake, if you fall to this corruption, I will not hesitate to destroy you. It is understood. I am prepared for the Firstborn's darkest hour. Come, let me show you what may be done here. The assembly panel awaits, Hierarch. We may begin whenever you are ready. The assembly panel allows you to customize your army based on the Protoss technology we encounter. Select a warrior category to begin. Now you may choose one of the two factions for use in upcoming battles. These assignments are not permanent and can be altered as our combat needs change. The Shadow Guard waits. We are the Blades of Iron. The Shadow Guard waits. I have heard only tales of the Grand Preservers. I did not expect to encounter one aboard this vessel. That is not surprising, Hierarch. My sisters and I are unique. Trained from birth to master every intricacy of the Kala. I have experienced its true depth plunged the infinite spectrum of emotion and memory. It is because of this gift we were selected to enter stasis, so that we may guide you in our most dire hour. Your sisters were aboard the other Ark ships? Then they... Are one with the Kala, fallen during the Zerg invasion of Ire. 
I know this. I feel the tragedy that has befallen us more deeply than you may realize. A terrible burden has been laid upon you, Rohana. Yet it is my fate to bear it. A fate foreseen by the same minds that constructed this vessel. I trust in their wisdom, Hierarch. I will serve my purpose, much as you must serve yours. Sky Shield's in serious trouble, old buddy. If we can't bring it back online, August Grad's gonna take a nuclear-sized impact. Mobius Corps soldiers are on the platform now, and those guys are suicidal. Rather die than let us stop them. This ain't good. Sky Shield's not gonna last much longer. At this rate, we've got maybe ten minutes left till it lands smack dab on our capital. Your suspicions were correct, Commander. Mobius Corps is disabling the platform's atmospheric stabilizers as we speak. The damage appears repairable, Hierarch. Yeah, assuming Mobius Corps leaves anything left to repair. Artanis, if you can clear out those troops, my boys can patch up those stabilizers. That should buy us some extra time. We must move quickly. It will take the combined power of all five stabilizers to halt the platform's descent. The central stabilizer is nearby. Securing it first will deliver us a staging ground to assault the other four. weapons cluster. Apartment systems online. Prepare for orbital strike. can now be fired from the Spear of Adun's command panel, Hierarch. You must construct additional pylons. This will provide us with supply we can use to train new warriors. You must construct additional pylons. Not enough energy. I walk the shadowed path. There 
calculations updated. Commander, your construction vehicles can begin the repairs. Thanks, Artanis. My boys are putting a sensor tower here. Should alert you if Mobius Corps swings through this area. I am detecting an electromagnetic weapon ahead. Its pulse will slowly damage our shields. We should destroy it if possible. Completing bonus objectives will allow me to improve the Spear of the Dune's power level in the future. Devices on the platform. If possible, you should seek them out. Void. Nice work. 
Got a repair crew inbound. Heads up. Looks like Mobius Core is starting to reinforce the stabilizers. Expect some heavier resistance. that base, Artenis. Raiders, let's keep this ground secure. Well. Mobius Corps is deeply entrenched in that location. An orbital strike would help weaken their defenses.
Nameless Mobius Corp base to deal with. My boys got it from here, Artanis. Very well. I serve. Updated. Only one stabilizer still remains in enemy hands. We must make haste. Big time for this one, partner. 